So today we're introducing something really great, and that's iTunes 9, the next major release of iTunes. And this is what iTunes has looked like to date, and this is what iTunes 9 looks like. We've cleaned it up quite a bit, made it much easier to navigate around. Okay, so finally we have iTunes 9, which has been completely rebuilt, so it's been given a brand new design overall. And what's interesting to note is, no longer will you have to go to another page when you want to buy something, you just hover over the i icon, and up pops the option to buy your video or music, whatever it is you're after. Apple have also thrown in something called home sharing, and what this essentially means is, you can transfer content between up to five computers at home. You'll also find something called Apple LP. Now think of this as the DVD extras you get when you buy your DVD. So for example, if you're buying a Nora Jones song, you can get additional information such as lyrics, perhaps an interview, or maybe a video, or reasons as to how she came up with particular song titles and things like that. It really depends on the content that you're buying. Now you can also manage your iPhone homepage via the iTunes website, so you can move things around and get it how you want it without actually going into your phone. So Genius has also had a bit of a tweak with something called Genius Mix. So for example, if you want to make a rock and roll or blues playlist, iTunes will be able to do this based on the tracks you have in your library. As well as that, Apple has also introduced up to 30,000 ringtones, although it's worth noting you don't buy these from the iTunes store itself, you grab those from your phone and go to the App Store. So basically, the iTunes overhaul is all about a more intuitive way to buy your multimedia, and it's pretty cool.